Hey guys, welcome to Monitor's Market and welcome to the pumpkin challenge that is being hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs and crafted by Corey. I am so incredibly excited to join in on this challenge because it is my first challenge. It is my first actual video that I've ever edited. So when you judge me, judge me softly because I am still learning. There is so much to learn and I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to share with you what I'm going to be doing. And I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Come back and watch as I start to do more things and upload more. I'm going to be uploading on Monday evenings other than today, of course, and any other challenge that I may um, join in on, which I'm hoping to join in on as many as I can to try to get my name out there. But if you would, I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video and any other video that you see that you truly like. Please leave comments because if you leave a comment, I will answer you. I would love to engage with you and get to know you and have you tell me what you're looking for and what you don't want to see any more of and just kind of get to know each other. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching my video. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing Monday. So you'll kind of see, you know, ahead of time what's going to happen on Monday afternoon. So please come back, please subscribe, click the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for coming and let's see. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I did is I took the two beware signs that I got from the Dollar Tree and I glued them down the middle and stuck them together. And then I reinforced them with these fat popsicle sticks that I got from the Home Depot, just to give it a little bit more stability. I used hot glue and E6000. And then I lost the footage to where I painted this, but all I did was painted it with some Waverly chalk paint in truffle. And then I used a sandpaper sponge and just kind of scrubbed it until I got the desired effect that I wanted, which was just like this kind of old creepy board that had been sitting out in the weather forever and ever. And I was kind of proud of the way it turned out. So that's what I put this on. So now I'm using my white Waverly chalk paint again. And I wasn't sure which brush I wanted to use, so I kind of just had them both ready. And I think I ended up using the paint brush. And then I have my little set that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use the pumpkins off that. And then these water slides that I printed out. And there are four there, but I'm going to show you in just a second what I'm going to do with the fourth one. So now I'm going to take apart my pumpkins and get ready to paint them. I did put two coats of the chalk paint on there. Just so I would have a really, really nice base for the water slides to go on. And I used my heat gun to kind of dry in between so I could kind of do it all in one setting. So I get them all painted. And then for whatever reason, I flip them over and paint the back. I know it's crazy I don't know why I did it because they're gonna be on the sign you're never gonna see them so now I'm cutting these out and I want to slow it down a little bit and show you what I was going to do with this fourth water slide so I made Sammy a cup and if you watched her video you seen where she was talking about it and this is the cup that I made her and that was the water slide that I used to go on top of the cup and then I put her name on the other side and I just did that as a thank you because she has been so amazing to me and supportive of me starting my channel and just kind of encouraged me along the way. And I just wanted to give her a little thank you. So then I took it outside and I sprayed a couple of spray, a couple of coats, I beg your pardon, with the Rust-Oleum Glow in the Dark spray paint. This was such a cool idea because when you go inside and you turn the lights out, that's what you get. And believe it or not, that's literally only after like five minutes of being in the sun. So I can't imagine what 
it would look like and how good it's going to glow once it's had quite a bit of light exposed to it for a while. So I was really proud of the way that that turned out. So now I'm going to apply my water slides. If you have never used water slides before, when you print them out on your printer, you want to make sure that you seal them with some type of sealant. Now you can use Mod Podge, you can use what I use, which was the 2X, um, is it Rust-Oleum spray paint? I'm going to have links to everything that I used in the description. So make sure you look for that if you're interested in what I use. But regardless, you want to make sure that you seal three times. Now, I've tried sealing it once, I've tried sealing it twice, but I get the best results when I seal it three times. And the reason you want to seal it is so that none of your paint sort of washes away when you stick it down in the water. So I have them sealed. Now I'm applying them to my pumpkins and I am so tickled at the way they turned out because I had never applied a water slide to anything. Let me slow down. This is quick coat. This is what I'm using now to seal them onto the board so that they have something covering them and they have some sort of coverage. You know what I'm saying? Like just to keep them from peeling off or cracking or whatever. It's kind of like a Mod Podgy type solution, but it's a little better in my opinion. And you get that from Counterculture DIY. And again, I will link that in the descriptions. Now I'm just taking a regular old pen, like a writing pen. And I am making some areas to kind of make this look more like a pumpkin. And then I'm going behind it with some white apple barrel paint, just plain acrylic paint. And I didn't have a clue what this was going to look like when I had this idea, but I didn't want to use black paint because I thought it would be too dark and I didn't have any gray paint. So this was kind of my bright idea that I came up with to try to mix it. And it actually turned out so much better than I thought it would because whenever I added the paint to the pen marks, it kind of just melted all together and made almost like a, a gray paint that I was hoping to have. So I was really, really proud of the way that turned out. So yeah, I just used a black pen, made my marks, and then went back in with the white acrylic apple barrel paint and just kind of kept working it and working it until I got the look that I wanted and was so excited when it was finished. So I'm just adding some bows now. These are the little finger bows that Sammy teaches you how to make and they are so stinking easy to make. And they are so cute and they add so much character to whatever you're making. So this is my finished little pumpkins and I'm like so excited because when I had it in my brain, like I never dreamt that it would really come out that cute. So now I'm making my first bow ever. So go easy on me. This is my first video, my first challenge, my first bow. And I have like all of this ribbon here. <clears throat> I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. So I just wanted to make sure it was all ready. So now I'm getting my little picks from the Dollar Tree. And they're just these little lavender picks, but they are so cute. I mean, they are so high-end looking and you would never in a million years believe that these came from the Dollar Tree once they're all put together. So I used two on each side and I used a little wire to put them together. And then I thought it would be really cute to use this witch's hat ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. So the reason I went with the witch's hat is because the Sanderson sisters are obviously witches. If you've never seen Hocus Pocus, shame on you. Like I am obsessed with that movie and that is what really bonded Sammy and I. We have this mutual obsession for Hocus Pocus. So I take this ribbon because I think it's just perfect to go along with the little pumpkins that I made. 
and I made these bows kind of just winging it, really. I had watched a couple of tutorials where I believe a lady named Olivia was making bows, and she calls them these Olivia bows, and I will make sure I link her down in the description, too, but so I kind of watched how she done it, and she just like folded it over two or three times, and actually Sammy does the same thing with her bow, so between both of them, I kind of winged it on my own and tried to figure it out, but it didn't look too bad when it was done. I was really proud of it, so once I was finished with the burlap part of the bow, I just took a wire and added it to the top of the witch's hat bow and then just kind of put it all together and fluffed it up and got it all cute looking and now I took these little squares that you can get in the crafter section at Dollar Tree and put them on the back of the pumpkins because I wanted to give it sort of a 3D effect I didn't want it laying right up against the pumpkin and again I'm not completely in the camera I apologize. Like I said, this is my first video. This is such a huge learning curve for me, but I wanted to make this video with what I had. And this is what it looked like when I was finished. And I am so proud of the way this turned out. Like I could not be more proud of how I had it pictured in my mind and made it come to fruition and just bam, there it was. And it's so cute, and it's my favorite movie of all times, and I hope you love it as much as I do. If you try to recreate this, please make sure that you send me a picture of it and tag me. And also, leave me a comment on what you think about this, and I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it. I mean, that would be awesome to get me started on my way with my new YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon at Moner's Market.